Brad Pitt is back in theaters this weekend. He's starring in an action-packed movie about World War II. Julie Fisk from 103.7 KVIL is on the couch to weigh in on Pitt's latest flick. Hey, Julie. Hi, Karen. Well, yes, we're talking about Fury this week, starring Brad Pitt as a World War II Sherman tank commander who has to take his crew behind enemy lines. Now, Fury's going to let you know in the first five minutes that it will not be delicate in its portrayals of war. The battle scenes are gritty and unsentimental. Characters are introduced just to be graphically killed off moments later. Even the scenes off the battlefield buzz with tension as the crew of the Fury teeters on the edge of sanity. Honestly, I'm really conflicted about this movie. I want to like it because it's a powerful story filled with wonderful performances. Shia LaBeouf is so good. He proves that he really is a solid actor when he's not headlining TMZ. Despite this, I did not enjoy Fury at all because it is profoundly grim. It's over two hours of repeated gut punches. It's kind of like saving Private Ryan, but not as good or uplifting, if you can imagine that. Now, I'm giving Fury a B minus because of the performances and also because it is a good reminder that war is hell. And despite the outcome, nobody ever truly wins. Seriously, Fury is a very good movie, but it's also a miserable experience. New on DVD, we have X-Men, Age of Future Past. Now, this one stars Patrick Stewart and Ian McKellen, but there's a time-traveling element in it, so we get to see all of our favorite uh, mutants. Really, one of my favorite things, though, is the addition of Peter Dinklage as the villain, because he's fantastic. Now, it does get pretty bogged down there towards the end and a whole lot of death and destruction, but it doesn't matter, because this is the best X-Men movie I've seen so far, and honestly, one of the best films I've seen all year long. I gave X-Men Days of Future Past an A when it came out, and seriously, it had nothing to do with that Wolverine nude scene, but there is one. <laughs> now, Julie, you were talking about Fury and how it reminded you of Saving Private Ryan. I mean, those are kind of the kinds of movies that I can watch one time. I can watch that once, and that's it. My husband will watch it over and over and over again. Do you think Fury might appeal to men more than women? I think it's definitely possible, and you're right. This is one I don't know if I'll be able to watch it again, except with my husband, because he will love it. Yeah, right. Julie Fitz, thanks so much. Appreciate it.